So, noob noob, you watch the T-N-M-N-M-N-T N-M-N Newton Ninja Turtles? Green underage people doing things with weapons. Mayhems. Mutants of mayhems. But we also, we're watching somebody else out there who also did a review that we may disagree with. Geese and Flicks, we're looking at you. We're coming for you. So within an hour of you doing your out of the theater review, <clears throat> Nate from Geeks and Flicks yep. did his out of the vi- vi- uh, out of the movie video, and it thing. has more views than mine. So <clears throat> first not off. many, but enough. Enough. Now we Z said we're coming for you. No, I'm gonna come on you. No, no, he's nope. not. We're not gonna do that. Nope, nope. But we're, we're gonna at least listen to his video. I'm gonna spread the ooze. I, I hope not. But look, we're gonna give him a like. Look at it, his mouth's already opening. Wants oh it. Oh my gosh! Let's listen to what Nate has to say on TMNT. I was looking forward to this, and then the buzz was kind of good. Like the reviews are pretty good. So then I got nervous because I was like, I don't know, maybe I won't like it. It's too much buzz. But I walked out of the theater having had an excellent. Excellent time. So I immediately think there's this, something mentally wrong with this man. Seth Rogen produced this, and Seth Rogen's kind of a piece of shit. Fifty fifty. He is a piece of shit, but he's also fifty. <laughs> Remember, he's the guy who said, uh, "If your car gets robbed, you deserved it because you're poor." Seth Rogen needs to get beaten with a bat. But you didn't say it was excellent. You said it was not excellent. It was barely passable. They don't even say cowabunga from No, no, they do. No, I heard they don't. He says it once. One, you only get one cowabunga. Do they even eat pizza? They eat a lot of pizza. Okay, well, they've got part of it right. I just, yep. Those parts I'm positive. fine with. Number one, this is the first time, I think, not the first time, but maybe one of the best times where the turtles actually feel like teenagers in the other iterations. So that's his favorite. Great. You, you want little kids. So first off, let's no. send in an Amber alert. Nate. No. All right. He, he likes that. The character. Mid thirties year old man wants teenagers. We teen- heard it here first. <laughs> no teenage mutants. They're called teenage mutant. Ninja they turtles. are. Te- and I'll give them that. They're not old. You did. Some say- of them are. Okay. They Some can of them feel are like teenagers at times. Uh, but they always are voiced by like grown men, so they don't always sound like teenagers. And this time they're voiced by actual kids. I think it really paid off. They seem like young people. So we like they the sound kids. like young people. I heard they and talk over each other. Ch- like a lot. The, yes, I heard that's like like annoying just, <coughs> to children. Do. They, they just scream over each other the yeah. whole movie. So if you want to listen to your home life, then fucking Change watch this movie. Besides getting a bunch of like you know famous older actors to voice these characters, I think they nailed the personalities of the turtles pretty well. You have Leonardo; he's of course the leader. He- I heard the personalities were wrong. Am I? Am so I the the personality of Michelangelo is a thirty year old black man. <laughs> okay. Even though uh, they, I guess the the kid is young, I think he just Does sounds he like a thirty year old black man. And then Donatello is a five-year-old girl. Is he a nerd? Uh, I guess so. I couldn't get over his balls not dropping, but <laughs> okay. I yeah, I guess so. Hi there, oh Donatello. Yeah, Donatello. It was higher than that. Oh really? Okay. Here, because they're teenagers, he's still kind of learning. I think they nailed the personalities. Splinter, great. Jackie Chan, fantastic voice. I thought he did a great job. I did like how they treated him. It's a little different than previous iterations, but. I think they got the spirit of the... It's not a one-to-one straight transfer. Character, right? April, they did a different take on her. And yep, I wasn't sure black. if I was going to like it. Oh, my God. Because they did rude. age her down a little bit. Like, she's in high school like them. And I'm used to her always being, like, a little bit older than them and kind of being an older person who helps them. But I think they Elderly pretty person. much did a pretty... Uh, they did a good job with she's her. She's voiced by the job. girl like, from the, the Beast. Or no, not the Beast. The Bear. I like her in the bear. She's a miserable whore in the first season. Oh my but, god! Um, yeah, she's good. She's like thirty, so she's not a teenager. But she's not my favorite version of her or anything like that. But I did not dislike her. I thought the voice was good. Like the voice actress was good. They did change her personality a bit, but Makes sense. nothing egregious. I thought she was good. The villains are Superfly is fantastic. So I don't, I don't remember ever seeing this villain. I, I think he might just be for this movie. Uh, he's voiced by. Do you like the villains? Uh, there's only one main villain, and it's Ice Cube. 
He's yes, a black. Ice Cube, he's a black rapper amazing. fly. A great villain. Black I love that they fly. did you, something. That's a real un- stretch of acting for Ice Cube. He's like he's basically just Ice Cube as a fly. Because he's super fly. Yep. Not Baxter Stockton. or super duper fly. Other than Shredder and the Foot Clan for the first movie, I thought it was a great move. Let's do something different. I heard this movie was only done so that they could extend the uh they have what do they call those? You know like they keep making like Spider-Man movies yeah. just because they want to extend the, the license. Turtleverse. Yes, they need to extend the license. So they're like, please someone do this. And they did and I really appreciated it. I thought Ice Cube was hilarious. Post Malone is the voice of one of them Paul Rudd, Mondo Post Malone is in it. Yeah, Post Malone's in it. Paul yeah. Okay. They're all villains that they're not really villains, but sure. Okay. Gecko, Seth hilarious. Rogen voices Bebop, Seth Rogen, which is of annoying. Course, Bebop, so. And he sounds just like himself. He sounds like, like Seth Donkey Rogen. Kong yep. and every other character. Yep. Awesome. He plays I Seth thought, Rogen. Overall, I think they got all that right. The humor's there. I thought it was very funny. I did laugh quite a bit. Nope. And the action is actually really good. I love the animation style. It looks like... A three-year-old it, it's wrote? like 3D animation, obviously, but it no, almost a has a 2D look. Drew. And then it almost has like, like it looks like sketches or yes, like, a, like a child like an unfinished yeah. animation kind unfinished? of. Like when something yes. explodes, so it looks you see shitty like and different. Lines like and fresh. And it looks what? like it. Shitty and different. You're like, you know what? That's <laughs> fresh. fresh. That's fly. That's I fresh. don't know. I thought it was very cool. Obviously, it probably inspired by like Unish, Into the Spider Verse. You know, it doesn't really tight. Oh, so <laughs> I'm pretty sure he has zero criticism at it. Hold on. I'm going to speed forward because. He 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 gets he does give it a rating, but he misses the proper rating. And I would very much look forward to seeing what they do with this version of the characters. And I guess that's all you can ask for, really. I, I I'm down for more of this style. I hope it does well, and people go see it. So I don't really have any negatives. I thought the sound, oh, the yep. soundtrack is great. No negatives. You got like Tribe Called Quest, Wu Tang Clan. That's appropriate for kids. There's another point that he makes in here where he's talking about it's for like it's oh kids would like it. But then he kind of contradicts himself because for like that's what's wrong with Transformers is if Transformers had cut like the Wu Tang songs and and songs that are clearly not for kids that have lots of cursing and stuff in them, it could have been like more accessible to children. But it clearly wasn't. And then this movie, he says there's cursing Black Street, in it. Street MOP. I don't remember. Really great there soundtrack being and a really good score by Trent Reznor. There's like a lot of rap Ross, shit. In so it. who knew? The, I listened to it's the a Trent- hood movie. It's basically like Hood Turtles. Oh, okay, well I listened to the Trent Reznor stuff, and I'm a big Nine Inch Nails fan. And Atticus Ross, who did they did the Facebook movie. I think they're they're very good, but this I don't think this seemed appropriate. And I listened to all the music. Like there's a song that's like I'm better than. Uh, Ruf, Mark Ruffalo is one of the songs. Okay. It, 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 I, don't, I, I didn't like what the I The songs heard. are okay. It's just I, they don't really fit in the... Yeah, it's like industrial music that doesn't fit. I mean, with... they fit because they made Ice Cube a character in the in the movie, but like normally in a, in a Turtles movie, you're not looking for a rapper being a fly, and then you just have rap music playing all the time. Nine Inch Nails guy was going to be doing the score for Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I thought this movie was fantastic. It's not like my favorite turtle movie ever, but it's I do five. find it way better than the previous animated only, film. Less than five, better than both Bay films, There's honestly. I would probably rank it like third already out of all the turtle films that have come out. And I th- you know, there's like three in the original trilogy, right? Oh, okay. Yeah, it's literally the And then the there's an one. animated one. Then there's two more from, Michael Bay ones. Yeah. The like, Michael Bay ones are all better. The animated one from 2007 is better. The original ones I haven't seen in a while. I'm assuming they're better. Even the Turtles and Time. All of them are better. This is the worst one. Okay. I thought it was a really great time. I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. This 9 is, out of 10. This man, like the people who wrote this. <laughs> oh, come on. Yeah. Be nice. That's not nice. I'll, I, I mean, that's fine. Touch. He should have said 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 would have been fine. Like, I loved it. Not maybe I'm biased because I do love the property. I don't care. I think it is a I love really, the property really great too. animated film I and a ton of fun. So actively thinking if you like the turtles, he has is, a turtle van up top there. Yeah, I was actively thinking this is made with two five year olds with special <laughs> needs. Oh my god. Yeah. Like You're, that's who wrote that movie. Nine out of ten is a little steep there, my friend. Go see it. If you've never seen a turtles movie, I think this is a good intro. Take your kids. It's not. Take your kids, you says really the, not a great he intro. He says there's cursing. Your your kids, if you want your kids to watch a rat try to sex up a bug <laughs> and then go fucking tonsils deep what? at the end. Why? Then Why? bring your kids. Uh, Show them that it's okay to have sex with bugs. Uh, if you're a rat. No. 
Maybe touch a rat. Oh, okay. Spray it's not too, you know, the there's rat. like light cursing. It's PG. See, it's light cursing. I'm not going to take There's light cursing and deep tongue. Yeah, a lot of action, a lot of fun. And it's only like an hour and 40 minutes, so you can't beat it. Anyway, that is my review. Go 10 out. If you're going to go for it, go for 10 yeah, out. Go 10. hard, Nate. Go hard. I like you. You need to go harder. We uh, So we decided to tackle your review of yep. this review of a movie he hated, which I have not seen, so I have no opinion. But at least you had reasons why you liked it. So I can appreciate that. Reasons. Were they were real reasons? I don't know, but they were reasons. They were reasons. And uh, you left out the part where the bug and the rat tongue each other. Yep. So that I think definitely that's something happened. that might I was, get parents mad. I was awake for that. Okay. Parents might get mad yeah. about that. A lot of throw up. Please feel free to respond to our response yes. of your response. And then we can respond to that response of your response to our response. We will keep in And then responses. maybe we can tongue each other for a video. It will never have another crossover because <laughs> we can cross tonsils. Obviously. I can give you a strip. Uh-huh. Or no, what's the um, mono? I'll give you a anyway, mono. look, we gave we gave you guys a thumbs up. See, look at that little thumbs bring up Alex right there. In here. He, can, he can be the third. And then uh, good job, Geeks and Flicks. Good job, Nate. We'll disagree with you on the next one. Maybe we'll have a nice, healthy debate Maybe over Maybe we'll just it. keep doing a series where we tear just apart <laughs> your out-of-theater reviews. No, that would be just not nice. Keep but... doing it. Fuck it. Who cares? Oh, whatever, And man. then you can do a video where you tear apart our tearing apart of your reviews. We did get trolled by one of our fans. So we did. You can, you can rip fucking us for that. Netherlands people. Don't trust him, Nate. <laughs> Don't trust Don't them. fucking trust him. <laughs> You're fine once. Shoot him immediately. <laughs> Anyway, uh, full length audio podcast, seven thirty PM Eastern Standard Time, Friday nights. Come join us. It's up here. There's a link somewhere. Geeks and flicks do live stuff too. I don't know when, but it's not Fridays. It's not Fridays. I think it's Mondays it's and every Wednesdays. Every other week, I think. It's once a year. Join them. They're they're good guys. They do good stuff. Yes. They unbox like big expensive things that we can't. Afford. Alex unboxes all those things. Okay. Well, there's a thing there. You know the thing. Come yeah, on, man. All the things. Come on, man. You know the thing. Jurok or Bob. What I want to do is I'm going to box myself and sell it as a collectible. And then Alex <laughs> from Geek Simplex is going to buy me and then unbox me and then use me as a sex toy. Oh, Live on air. No. Nate's going to review it out of theater. Absolutely. <laughs> We're on to the next one. Oh.